a woman, like a young lady who has childbearing hips. That doesn't mean they need 10 of them. Like, I don't know. I personally don't care what we're ha- hardwired for. I think you can make the decision yourself not to cheat on your woman. Do you th- think attraction is a choice? Um, no, and I think it's okay to be with someone and be attracted to someone else. There's a difference if you're going to act on that or not. Yeah, it's it's out, out of respect. Like I was saying, like, when I said, oh, that's fucking stupid to you saying you want variety, it was because in my head I was thinking, like, wow, you're in a relationship. But it also, it's like, I guess if your morals tell you, like, that's okay. Well, let me ask you. Well, if a guy busts his ass to become successful, right, and get to a point where he can have multiple women, who are you to tell him he's got to, you know. His wife. I would be his wife to tell him that he can't have multiple women. If if you're making <laughs> if you're making like a commitment to someone, then you're making a commitment to only that person unless you guys have something else going on, right? But if well, a guy's successful and he wants many women, he can do that, but don't tell one woman that yeah. they're the only one. That's like, fine. Go fuck other people, have a girlfriend, be in an open relationship. I don't care. But like I if- think men honestly should be honest. I say that all the time. You should be honest, but are most men gonna be honest? No. Well, no, but us saying it isn't, you know, we're not going to change the world by saying it. It's just our opinion. Like, on what we think and how we feel. But there's there's a thing, like, we we can operate on ideal and what's real. So if I tell you that it's raining outside and I give you an umbrella, right? And you choose to not take the umbrella and you get wet, whose fault is it? My fault? It is, right? Because I armed you with the umbrella if, to avoid getting wet, if right? If my husband tells me I'm going to want to fuck other women before we get married, I'm not going to marry him. Do you know every single day it's going to rain? <laughs> what? Okay, obviously we it's, can't hold on, hold on. these men's Stop. brains. Stop. This is what I'm talking about when I say critical thinking. It's an analogy. <laughs> You're not, you don't know every day it's going to rain. But if I'm telling you it's going to rain, have an umbrella ready, you'll be prepared for it, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm telling you, most men are only faithful as their options. So what I'm telling you is when you eventually do find that man that you like, and you're like, damn, this guy's really, damn, he's attractive. This guy's a fucking catch. Damn. Rainstorm's probably coming. I should get an umbrella. What is that? A rainstorm? He's going to fuck another bitch. I'm telling you. This is what it is. And women don't want to accept the truth. That's, that's good because advice, by not the way. Because wi- not all men are like that. Like, <laughs> oh. They're not. It doesn't not- rain every day. The, the men, there's sunny days. You there's surround days. yourself with men that agree with you because you guys have similar mindsets, and a lot of men are like that. But guess what? There's men that aren't gonna cheat. They don't want to. Yeah, but that's a minority. Like Loyal men are low value men distress, with no options. You guys are just only disrespectful. So, yeah. Like I'm saying my opinion. You guys are laughing. You're, you guys were making fun of her when she was stuttering. Like, like someone yeah, that's Olivia, you so guys are low of you. Like I mean, calling low like, value. A who nineteen, who like, like a twenty-year-old, stupid. You're what? Yeah. How old are you? Do you know the shit we talk to each other? Yeah. Hey, There's listen. a reason why we turn off the YouTube stream. And you don't know us, right. but you're talking to us like that. Talk to your friends like that, but we're not your friends. Listen, yeah. I've, Treat us with respect. I've and talked. I saw the video where it's like, do women deserve respect? I think it's like. Um, in like, uh, what is it? Guilty until proven innocent. So you respect someone until they lose your respect. Treat the woman you bring onto this show who came all the way here with respect and not call them stupid uh, to their face, even if they're wrong. Respect. <laughs> respect. Ah! See, there's a difference between men and women. Respect is earned, ladies. And here's the thing. We gave you guys the respect earlier with explaining our points, and then you guys didn't want to accept it, refused to accept it. But that it. doesn't mean you I have to points. then call hold us on. stupid hold or on, bitch hold on, or hold retard. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I never called you a bitch. But what I am saying is that if you say stupid shit after a period of time, we've been talking for a few hours now, and you've proven yourself through a multitude of different examples to be stupid, I'm going to say, damn, you're probably our stupid. L- and I'm going to say, damn, you're fucking ugly. Let me point out one thing, too. Myra, Myra. Do you remember right. well, when we were setting that up? That is an opinion, actually. Myra, there you I go. You good job. Am I? <laughs> Myra, do you remember when we were setting up the studio in Columbia? And I think I like forgot some cable that we needed at my house, and I was showed up a little bit late, and you're like, yo, Casey, what the fuck is this? This is a fucking L, bro. No, no, we, we got to step this up, bro. Like, come on, get this shit together. He, We hold each other accountable as guys as well so it's not like he calls a bunch of girls to like just bully them because he gets off on that this is who myron is he just keeps it fucking 100 like he just he calls out guys girls if he sees stupidity that's good for him to bring guys on the show we do i want to see we that do. Yeah, do. when actually we uh, call him this goes into no, the topic like, of with telling different women the truth. you don't want the truth you can't handle the truth we do have calling shows uh, we've by been the way. handling the truth the whole time the way we want to handle it it's not there which is emotionally yeah, there emotionally and erratically cool. yeah. and not accepting it's, it's of the not truth. Cool. and delusionally oh. and it's good entertainment because you guys prove my point I would never be able to sit at a table on a date with you talking about statistics and being successful <laughs> and money uh, like yeah. Yeah, how it's hard could stuff. someone sit with that it's hard stuff I know talk about music talk about art like art. <laughs> sociology <laughs> 
talk about like all right, we life. Move on. I mean, this is Let's uh, move on. I mean, yeah, but this is the Music. first date. We're, we're talking I need about my own podcast. We're we're we're, we're, we're talking about intersexual <laughs> dynamics between men and women and how men and women think drastically different. Am I funny? And, and all you're you're proving the stereotypes <laughs> more and more. And you're proving the stereotype that men are animals. <laughs> how are we animals? Explain, because I think all humans are animals. You are literally saying I mean, you how are literally like saying. You are what are we saying to shut the fuck up and let my fun talk, please? No, no, go ahead. Hey, 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 hey. You're the admitting that you can't even stay loyal to a woman. <laughs> because you're on... No. Then you're an animal. I'm saying that men and women have different proclivities when oh it comes to dealing God. with the opposite gender. And I'm saying, as, as a woman who doesn't have to earn their own value, we discuss this. No, I'm telling you. I'm saying. <laughs> okay. As a woman who does not need to earn... Her sexual market value, which means her ability to attract men, because you don't have to earn that value, mm -hmm. okay? You cannot dictate to an individual who does have to earn their value how to spend their value. And I'm saying you're an animal. <clears throat> how so? That you're... animal had to build themselves up. The animal had to make money. And women that can animal... build themselves up and make but money But men don't as care well. about that. Men That's don't care not about that. our fault that men don't care about that. But what I'm saying Women is that, no, 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 that. that's fantastic. But does that make you sexier to men in general? The answer is no. It could. No, it Some doesn't. Some men do care about Broke their women. Men care about that. No. Yeah. There are rich men, smart men, who want a woman who is on their league, on their that's playing true. field. That's not true at all. Oh not God. all rich, smart that's women true want at all. a stupid, pretty the more, girl. The more, the more money a man makes, the less he cares about how much money a girl makes. Facts. Come on, man. Like, yo, look, here's the thing. Look. You guys are, you're 19, you're 20. You guys are basically like, right, very close to being kids. And you guys don't really know how the real world works. You guys really don't know a lot of things. And, you know, you you, you guys might be offended by me telling you that you're dumb in some regards, but you kind of are because you're just inexperienced. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think there's a difference that. between being naive and being dumb. So watch out how you say that. Well, anyway, you've proven to be dumb a few times. Yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, yeah, just you just can't, don't understand logic, but uh, and you've actually proven our points a bunch of times from your arguments, which is actually hilarious. Thank you, made watch my job a lot easier. Look, look, watch the show back. Watch it back. Watch it back. Please. Oh no, I will, and watch I'm gonna be back. so embarrassed. Yeah. But I've said some things that I stand on. You said one good what thing. What things you stand well, no, on? You, you gotta look back thing. and be like, what the fuck did I just say? <laughs> I right. talked my shit. That's why I came on oh, here. Oh, fantastic. You talked your shit and didn't prove anything. Okay. We, yeah. I did. I did prove one thing. He was weird. You know what's funny? I forgot what it was. Okay. <laughs> uh, cool. <Me> too. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Because you said that we um, disrespect women or whatever. I, I don't think we did. I think we were just telling uncomfortable truths that you're not used to hearing because women tend to lie to each other about harsh realities of the world mm -hmm. like for example the one about like women live an easier life you guys don't like hearing that but that's the truth and you could be like you're wrong instead of being you're, like, stupid. you're stupid i did that say you're wrong they did right and, and then you also said you're stupid well that's when you decided to not acknowledge that you were wrong or you could just be silent or maybe move on maybe you could be silent and move on you keep talking so we're gonna stay yeah, on the topic keep talking thank you I've I mean, like, this is your guys' bit. Like, you guys want content. You guys are rude to women. Like, you, like even if they're wrong, even if they're right, you want We're to prove them wrong. We're respectful up to a point, and then at some point, you're just like, you got to tell people, like, damn, yeah. man, you're, you're no, dumb. No, no. Even in the beginning, there was no how disrespect. So? How, how, how were we being disrespectful in the beginning? You kept saying, like, as soon as she said she, like, was mar she was married to someone with money, like, you had to make a comment about that. What'd we say? About her. What'd we say? Um, <laughs> you were like, oh, like of course, like oh yeah, she divorced, like for the money, like and then we didn't say that. We just uh, laughed and we said and NFL. We knew her, that. We we saw that. How she was um a stripper, and you're like, oh, that makes sense. Oh well, what do you do now? Real estate, and you had to, you were just picking on her. Bro, you know, she she didn't even know what she was doing, man. Yeah, she, she didn't was even, like, she didn't even know what it was. Properties, like, she didn't know. Yeah, I mean, she didn't even answer. <laughs> you right. know what's rude? Come on, on somebody's show, and being stupid. That's rude. That's rude, bro. Oh, maybe you should like test people before they come on. Yeah, if you but don't want stupid people on your no, show. Trust because me. if you test and you only get the smart girls, maybe they'll be trust ugly. Me. That if would I could, suck. I would, but I can't. Why not? It's your show. You know why? Why? Because you don't know how stupid you are. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> next topic.